एनर्जी एनर्जी ऑफ अ बॉडी इज अ कैपेसिटी टू डू वर्क it is the capacity to do work so energy and work they are similar quantities as work is a scalar quantity which has no direction energy is also a scalar quantity the units of energy and work are also the same units of energy there are different units of energy now the si unit or you can have the absolute units of work the absolute units again can be divided into two one is the si system which is mks meter kilogram second another is the cgs now in si system of work work is force into distance force is in newton and distance is in meter newton into meter is 1 joule so work and energy is the same so si unit of energy is joule in cgs system work was f into d force is in dyne displacement is in centimeter and this was called one erg now what is the relationship between joule and arc 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 arc so usually the unit of energy is given in the si unit joule it has the same unit as work now we come to the bigger units of energy bigger units of energy bigger units of energy you can have it as watt hour kilowatt hour you can have the bigger units of energy as watt hour watt hour 
which is written as WH. Another is kilowatt hour. which is written as KWH. Now what is what hour? What is the unit of power? An hour is a unit of time. Now we know power is work divided by time therefore work is power into time so power into time will give you the unit of energy now one watt r is actually 1 watt power used for 1 hour. 1 watt power used for 1 hour. Now what is 1 watt? 1 watt is 1 joule per second. And what is 1 hour? 3600 zero zero seconds. So this second cancels off. 1 into 3600 zero zero is 3600 zero zero joule. So 1 watt R is 3600 zero zero joule. It is a bigger unit of energy. Now let us come out to the kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt hour is the power of 1 kilowatt used for 1 hour. Now 1 kilowatt is 1000 watt and 1 hour is 3600 zero zero seconds. Watt can be written as joule by second. So the second cancels off. This is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. So 1 kilowatt hour is 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. Now we have other units of energy too. Like heat energy. In heat energy, usually the energy is calculated in calorie. It is usually calculated in calorie. Now, one calorie is the energy or heat required in raising The temperature of one gram of water from fourteen point five degrees Celsius to fifteen point five degrees Celsius. That is through 1 degree Celsius. 
so one calorie is the energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water from 14.5 to 15.5 and if this energy is calculated then we will be seeing that one calorie is equal to 4.18 joule one calorie is 4.18 joule sometimes the energy of atomic particle is so small it is measured in another unit of energy known as electron volt energy of atomic particles they are so small energy of atomic particles they are so small that they are measured in an energy known as electron volt the unit is called electron volt and one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so you see it's so small it is 10 to the power minus 19 joule so very very small energy is measured in electron volt so energy is the capacity to do work they are similar things work is scalar energy is also scalar unit of energy and work is same absolute unit you can have joule an arc relation is 1 joule is 10 to the power 7 arc bigger units can be watt hour kilowatt hour uh in uh, the electricity bill which we have children in our homes is given in kilowatt hour it is a bigger unit of energy heat energy is measured in calorie one calorie is 4.18 joule and very very small energy is measured in electron volt different forms of energy now energy can have different forms see it can be mechanical energy it can be heat energy light energy sound energy and so on etc now first let us discuss mechanical energy and its different forms different forms of mechanical energy first we are discussing the different forms of mechanical energy now mechanical energy in broadly can be classified in two forms now some of you all might have a doubt with what is mechanical energy now mechanical energy is the energy the energy possessed by a body
due to its state of rest or of motion. It is the energy possessed by your body due to its state of rest or motion. Now mechanical energy can be divided into two. One is kinetic energy. Another is potential energy. Now, kinetic energy, what is it? Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by your body. It is the energy possessed by your body. by virtue of its state of motion. See, for example, we have a body of mass M It is moving with a speed of V meter per second. Since it is in motion, it has some kinetic energy. So kinetic energy possessed by the body is half into M into speed square. Formula for kinetic energy is half m v square. m is the mass of the body and v is the speed of the body. So kinetic energy depends on two factors. Kinetic energy depends on two factors. mass of the body and the speed of the body. It depends on the mass of the body and the speed of the body. See for example, if you take a sum say if you are given calculate the kinetic energy of a body Calculate the kinetic energy of a body of mass 2 kg and moving with a speed of ten meter a second. Now just now we have studied that kinetic energy is half into m into v square. What is the mass of the body? 2 kg. What is the speed of the body? 10 meter per second square. So speed square. So this 2 cancels. 10 square is 100. Kinetic energy is 100 joule. So the formula for kinetic energy is half m v square. 
Now, kinetic energy can be of different forms. Kinetic energy can be of different forms. You can have kinetic energy. as translational kinetic energy you can have as translational kinetic energy you can have it as rotational kinetic energy and you can have it as vibrational kinetic energy now what is translational energy when the body moves in a straight line path then the motion is called translational energy and kinetic energy of the body kinetic energy of a body due to motion in a straight line motion in a straight line is translational kinetic energy for example a car moving in a straight line path you can take the example of you can take the example of a car moving in a straight line a car moving in a straight line path that is an example of translational kinetic energy now what is rotational kinetic energy it is a kinetic energy of a body due to rotation it is the kinetic energy of a body due to rotational motion what example can we take we can take the example of the earth spinning on its own axis you can take the rotational kinetic energy as the earth rotating on its own axis as an example the earth rotating on its axis it is also motion so that is rotational kinetic energy now vibrational kinetic energy the kinetic energy of a body due to vibration this is the kinetic energy of a body due to vibration now what example can we take say a wire is clamped on its ends and you pluck a vibrating wire a wire is plucked on its two ends you have a wire plucked on its two ends and you vibe pluck in the middle it vibrates so it has vibrational kinetic energy so it is vibrating wire now depending on the state of motion depending on the state of motion a body 
me possess one or more than other form of kinetic energy simultaneously one or more than other form of kinetic energy simultaneously say you have a wheel moving on the road this is a road and you have a car moving so this is your wheel it's rotating and at the same time it is going forward so it's rotating at the same time it is going forward now due to the straight line path it has translational kinetic energy and due to rotation it has rotational kinetic energy so it is possessing two forms of kinetic energy at the same time now let us come to potential energy now potential energy is the energy possessed it is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its specific position or changed configuration now this potential energy is mainly divided into two parts it is mainly divided into two parts one is gravitational potential energy due to position gravitational potential energy this is due to change position due to position and the another is elastic potential energy elastic potential energy due to changed configuration due to changed configuration now what is gravitational potential energy it is the energy possessed by a body due to the attraction of the earth it is the energy possessed by a body due to the attraction of the earth it is the potential energy possessed by a body 
due to the force of attraction of the earth. See, for example, this is the earth. And you have a body of mass M at a height H from the earth. Then the gravitational potential energy of the body is, gravitational potential of the body is MGH. M is the mass of the body, G is acceleration due to gravity and H is the height from the earth's surface. So gravitational energy depends on M, M is the mass of the earth, G is acceleration due to gravity and H is the height of the body from the surface. So it depends on three factors, M, G and H. What is M? Mass of the body. G is acceleration due to gravity. Gravitational potential energy depends on mass of the body. Acceleration, G is acceleration due to gravity. M is the mass of the body. And H is the height of the body. From the surface of the earth. It is the height of the body from the surface of the earth. Now, what is elastic potential energy? See, for example, you have a spring. Now the spring is extended. You extend the spring. This is a changed configuration. It is a changed configuration. Pull the spring. Now the spring will try to come back to its original position due to the change configuration. That means the work which is done on the spring in extending gets stored in the spring as elastic potential energy and it brings the spring back. Now you can also compress the spring. You can also compress the spring. In either case here, Work is done on the spring, it is compressed and the spring will try to go back to its original state. So in this case there is a change configuration and the energy possessed by the spring is elastic potential energy. So let us come back to different forms of energy. Now energy can be of different types. Mechanical energy, heat energy, light energy, sound energy and so on. Mechanical energy is energy possessed due to state of rest or motion. Mechanical energy can be broadly divided into two, kinetic and potential. Kinetic energy is due to motion. So if you have a mass m moving with a speed v, kinetic energy formula is half mv square, half into mass into speed square. So kinetic energy depends on m and v. Kinetic energy can be translational, that is when a body moves in a straight line path. It can be rotational, when the body is rotating like the earth rotating on its axis. Or it can be vibrational, when you pluck a string, it has vibrational kinetic energy. Depending on the state of motion, the body may have one or more forms of kinetic energy. For example, on a road, if you have a wheel rotating, then since it's moving in a straight line, it has translational kinetic energy. And since it's rotating, it has rotational kinetic energy. That means at the same time, simultaneously, 
it is having two forms of kinetic energy translational and rotational potential energy of a body is the energy possessed by virtue of its position or con change configuration when position changes we say gravitational potential energy changes and when configuration changes shape changes you say that is elastic potential energy gravitational potential energy is due to the force of attraction of the earth so this is the earth when you take a body to a height h potential energy is m into g into h potential energy depends on mass of the body acceleration due to gravity and height of the body so more the height greater is the potential energy possessed by the body an elastic potential energy is if you have a spring and you extend it or compress it then we do work on the spring and that work is converted to elastic potential energy which tries to take the spring back to its original configuration